Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Alright, today's episode we are going to be getting into embers. Alright, so let's go ahead and look. There is the better piping quest, which we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, some sort of black quartz. I think I can use that for some better piping. These pipes have some limitations though. An item transfer might help with intersections and forced intersections. All right, so we are gonna make a thing called the item transfer. We already have all the different types of pipes and all of that. So I already have it set up here. This is how it's made and you can grab it like this. We're really not even gonna use this right now. It's mainly for piping setups and mainly what I'm gonna be doing is piping directly in, directly out. So I really don't need it right now, but I wanted to get that quest done because it is from Embers. All right, the next one is boring. As I ventured deeper, I stumbled across old mechanical constructs. These autonomous golems seem hostile, but stick close to the core of the world. I wonder if there's a reason for this. But they are at least very intriguing. It seems the archaic bricks they are made out of can be used to create some basic machine logic. I wonder what improved machines I can come up with. One of those golems said something about a rare resource at the low levels of the caverns. He called it embers. I need to grind it out of the bedrock. I came up with a borer that gathers these ember shards from the bedrock. The design is not perfect. It needs some fuel and I need to pipe the embers out. But I can only access it from one side. This means I need to place a mechanical core above it to have more sides accessible. All right, so we need archaic bricks. You get these from killing the golems. Now they will spawn in the Exoria and Exoria underground. And be careful because they are a little bit dangerous, especially if you don't have good armor and a good weapon. All right, so we got the bricks. We have archaic circuits, which those are made like this. It's copper and four archaic bricks, all right? Next thing we need is a mechanical core. I'll show you how to make that in a minute. And then we need the ember bore. Then we're going to need an atmospheric gauge. And then we're going to need an ember shard. All right. So the mechanical core is made like this. It's an archaic circuit for lead plates for item pipes. And the item pipes are just a lead plate and two lead. All right. The atmospheric gauge is a kamenite lever. All right, which is a kamenite plate and a stick. Gives you four of them. And then it's four copper and two iron ingots. Gets you that. And that you use, you hold it like this, and you can see the current levels of ember in the area. Because it will fluctuate. It will go up, it will go down. So, you know, you could kind of ride that wave and only power your bore when the levels are a certain height. Or you can just power them all the time and just it averages out in the end. All right, so we're going to use one of these mechanical cores to make the bore. We're going to need a diamond pickaxe, two iron plates, five kamenite bricks, and a mechanical core. And I guess I should explain how to make kamenite. All right, kamenite is basically two dust, sulfur, and clay. And then you can use that to make raw nugget stamps, raw kamenite plates, kamenite blend blocks, raw bar stamp, all sorts of different things. Then you cook it up in the furnace. So you use the bricks to make the kamenite bricks. All right, so let's go ahead and make the bore. And then we are gonna need, actually, let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so let's run down to bedrock. And I'm gonna put it one space above bedrock, so that way I can actually see it kind of working. Let's see, where's my pick? And we're gonna mine this block here. All right, so what it was talking about is the fact that there's only one input output here. So you can't input and output from the same thing. You'd have to switch your pipes back and forth, so it's a little bit of a pain. So we're going to use a mechanical core, which you put that on, it links with that, and then you can input and output from this. All right, so we're going to want item pipes. And I'm going to come just like this. Let's see, here, here, and here. 
We're going to put a chest here for input, chest here for output, and I made a mistake because this needs to be an item extractor. And let's put a Kamenite lever on it. So that's going to extract, that's going to insert, and actually it's not going to because we need to put an item extractor here. All right, so this is going to... Oh, I hate this. Okay, change of plans. All right, item pipes. There we go. Lever. Turn it on, and we're going to throw some burnium in here. And this is going to go to work. Now, this will take a little bit, but eventually you will start getting resources in here. You're going to get... Let's see. Ember. You will get ember grit, ember shards, and ember crystals. All right, so while this is working... Ooh, we already got an ember shard. Let's see. Let's go over here where it's a little bit quieter and read the next quest. Okay, ember activator, ember emitter, ember receptor. All right, we are going to make this for this quest and then we're going to get rid of it because it's a lousy way to make ember but we do need it in order to finish the quest and also to craft the next piece. After long research, I found some use for this new magical resource. I can use it to melt metals down, which is not very useful on its own as I have the foundry, but I see the potential of making alloys. This is how we get bronze. All right, so let's run back over here. Hopefully we've managed to get another one. Yes, we have. All right, so let's jump back upstairs. All right, so we want ember, let's see, ember receptor. Want one of those. And we want an ember emitter, one of those. Actually, we get two. Ooh, that's nice. All right, ember emitter, ember activator. So do we have ember activator? Okay, so we need Saracen stone. I know that that is right here all right and we're also going to need to make some kamenite slabs hmm how do we make those the saw of course let's see I made an emerald hand saw and I actually needed to make the cauldron for that but I think I'm going to do an episode on that just because it was a little bit hard to figure out all right the saw We'll make some of those. All right. And we can make the ember activator. Nope. We need a furnace. So we're going to go ahead and make two furnaces. Why not? We'll put an extra one up here on the shelf. Throw this in here. All right. The ember activator. We're going to make that. And it should update. There we go. Now the next thing we need, two melters. And then we're gonna need a mixer centrifuge. All right, so let's see, uses for this. Block of copper. I forgot to grab my block of copper. All right, uses, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna make the pressure refinery. All right, so we need melters, it said. And we're going to need furnaces for those. I think... Hmm. You know what? We got enough stone. And... I got way too much stuff in my inventory. Let's throw this in here. I should have plates somewhere. Hmm. I never have what I need. All right. So... Basically how this works, you use that bore. Here we go. You use the bore to make ember, or collect ember, I should say. And then you're going to use that in a refinery or the ember activator to get... Basically, it's like a power type. All right, so you're going to use that to power your machines. So we needed two melters, and then what do we need? A centrifuge? 
Mixture centrifuge. Good, we got one of those. Wow. We might actually be able to get into alloys. Let's see. Let's throw some of this stuff in here. Let's see. Now what I want to know is if I break this up, and if I break this up, Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted a tank. Try and remember, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back downstairs. Okay, I actually did a little bit of work. I had to do a cut because it took me a lot longer than I thought. Alright, so here's how you set it up. We have the pressure refinery here, gold block under it, lava on the sides, you pump the ember in, and then you pump the power version of the ember out. Alright, so let's grab a little bit more of this because we need it. Throw those in there, they'll start going to work. Alright, so you can see all these beams going. What you do is you set up an ember receptor on the device that needs the power, and you set up an ember emitter on the device that is sending power. Now to link them, you're going to use your Tinker's Hammer, shift right click on the receptor, and then right click on the emitter that you want to link it to. Alright, and then they need a redstone signal. If I turn this off, this will stop sending power over. Alright, so basically you pop down your melters, and it looks like a single block, but when you place it down, it's two blocks. Your items go in the top. You can actually just right-click to put items in here. Let's see, I don't have anything that's compatible. I could put lead in here, that, but that's going to mess it up. You can also pump items into the top. So then you're going to pump the fluid out of the top. You can see in the top left-hand corner, if I hold shift, it'll show what's in there. It actually has 17 copper ingots in there. So if we hop up here and look, you can see them inside there. So then you pump the fluids out of the top, and the mixer centrifuge is pretty much the same thing. You place it down, it's two blocks tall. So what I did was I pumped the tin in to this side, the copper into this side. And you see if I hold shift, it has four tanks in there. Right now it has tin and it had copper a second ago. Then in the top one, you can see I have molten bronze. So you can make these things, these are fluid dials, which is a kamenite lever and tin. And you can make ember dials, which are kamenite and copper. And basically you put these on, you look at them, and you can see how much ember is stored in this. And you can see how much fluid, like if I put this here, molten bronze. If I was to put this here, hmm, it doesn't show. What if I put one down here? Nope, still doesn't show. That's strange. Probably because there's no fluid in there. I'm not sure. But we can output the fluid from the top here. Let's grab a lever, put it on here, output, and put a tank. Oops, that's not a tank. Put a tank right here. All right, this is liquid molten bronze. Now this looks more like silver, but you know what? I'm not going to argue. Alright, what I want to see is, do I have to cast it using the ember stuff, or can I just put this here, put a faucet on the side, and go like this? Yes, I can! We have bronze! I'm excited about this, because I need bronze for quite a few things. Yes. Let's see, the carpenter. Do I need it for the carpenter? Yes, I need it for the carpenter, which I can use to make some stuff for bees. And also, let's look at something. Let's see, bronze casing, efficiency 140. Let's see, we want the condenser. 121, efficiency 140, that's not that good. What about bronze heat provider? Let's see, iron, so yeah, this will be better for making my liquid crystal. And it's also better efficiency. So yeah, better heat, better fuel lasting, so yeah. 
I'll take that. Hmm. Awesome. So we have bronze. I am excited about that because this has been a big step that has been blocking me. Bronze ingot, electrum ingot, dawnstone ingot. So we can use that to make different alloys. Um, bronze is copper and tin. Electrum is gold and silver. Dawnstone is gold and iron. Let's see. Melting recipe, mixing recipe. Molten copper and gold. Gold and copper. New iron wasn't right. All right. So yeah. That's cool. We got this up and running. Like I said, I can leave my game running all night. Just, you know, if you want to AFK your game and you don't like being connected to the internet, just pull your Ethernet cord out and you should be oops, good to go. That's what I do, and I just run my game all night, and I'll come back to probably a chest full of these because burnium is like an insane fuel. Let's look. All right, burnium uses for that. Each burnium smelts 32 items, so this thing is way better than coal. All right. So yeah, we can smelt this down. Now we can make dawnstone, we can make bronze, we can make electrum, and we can make all sorts of stuff. So let me run over here so it's not so noisy. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, Tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer, signing off.